Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David in Ark. Today we are back in some more survive the dive at the desert crater. Now the crater itself has been updated, so this is version 1.1, and uh, you can get that from Spencer Johnson's Patreon account. And just uh, I'll have a link to that down in the description below. The mod that we are using today in terms of vehicles, the B series off road semi pack from IYB. That's right, it's your boy. Oh, this thing is phenomenal, man. This is the crawler, by the way. Now, if you're not familiar with Survive the Dive, essentially uh, our goal is to survive the whole way down. Oh, 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 oh. come on, come on. Oh. The, the entire way down the crater, essentially uh, survival means that the engine is running and the vehicle is drivable. I'm not, not so sure we're going to achieve the second one for sure. We'll see what happens if we can achieve the first part. I, I would love to be able to put the brakes on. Just stop. Can I, can I, can I, can I please stop? Could you stop? Ugh. There we go. Wait, wait. We are sort of slowing down, I think. I'm pretty sure it's an optical illusion. No, Dave, you're rolling down the hill at about 70 miles an hour. Oh, and we are on fire. Oh, this is not looking good for the B-Series crawler whatsoever. However, oh, and there goes the engine. So, no. The crawler will not survive the dive. That is so unfortunate. I am kind of curious. I don't think I've done this before. If we free cam from at this point and then immediately zoom out, we can get a feel for about how far down we were from the bottom. Now, I'm zooming out, and I know YouTube's going to do some weird stuff. Our vehicle is currently about here going down. We peeled off somewhere in here. The bottom is down there, and the top is up here. So we probably made it about, what, three quarters of the way down before it was just all she wrote. And the camera's doing weird things. I apologize. Sorry about that. Oh, but it's the end of the line for that particular vehicle. Let's move on. No point in watching this one to the end. In case you're not familiar, oh, there's a little voice crack. Hi, I'm David and Ark. I'm 12. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is uh, the, the B series off road pack. There are 14 different vehicles in the pack, which I mean, this is the first time I've seen this. So I'm very curious to see how some of these dudes are going to go. Look at this. This one is chained like snow chains. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and grab this. Let this bad boy spawn in. Oh, that's gorgeous. There's a thing of beauty right there. All right, so I am going to go ahead and lock all the diffs and transfer cases and all that stuff. I, I, I truly don't know if that helps, hurts, or makes zero difference whatsoever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, as soon as we start going... And over end, we are in trouble. Okay, I need to... Oh, well, okay, we lost a wheel. But, well, well, we lost another wheel. I was going to say we still have most of them. I mean, technically, we still have most of them. But uh, we're definitely chunking them across the way. I've got the brakes on. And I realize that does no good whatsoever while you're rolling through the air. However, I'm hoping that if we can just prevent the wheels from spinning some, that might help us with our speed. I have no earthly idea if in the scheme of physics and logic that makes any sense. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Oh, there goes another wheel. We are losing wheels. We're down to three wheels left on our poor vehicle. Uh, make that two. two. Two wheels left. Perhaps part of Survive the Dive should be how many wheels do you have left by the time you get to the bottom. Uh, yeah, I don't just don't think holding the brakes is making that much of a difference in the scheme of things. The engine is now broken, and that is all she wrote. 
Ah, for this B series with chains on the tires. Might be good for snow, not so much for a desert canyon or pit or I can't remember what this is called. <laughs> canyon. Is it called Canyon? I think it's called Canyon. I don't know. Whatever it is. <laughs> All right. Let's try another one. Oh, I'm definitely interested to see how the uh, eight wheeled. No, I mean, technically, those are doubles in the back, right? So, holy smokes. We're we talking 14 wheels. 14 wheels. On this bad boy fire truck. Oh my gosh, look at all of the <laughs> all of the axles getting all the differentials, all the transfers. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of gas to get over the edge. Come on. Slowly. And then of course the idea here is to give a little and then pull back some just so things uh, don't go end over end, but at the same time, you're able to maybe give it a little bit of control. So far, I will say, this seems to be the best run of the group. Now, I'm saying that as we now suddenly, you know, kind of roll over on our back, but it, it, it was. We, we had a good run for a minute there. Y you definitely want to let go of the brakes at certain points because you want the vehicle to be able to naturally roll without fighting but you just want to try to maintain first of all some kind of lower speed which we have definitely done i mean we've been floating around that 35 whoops mile an hour mark ah, well floating down on our back is not going to do any good because brakes aren't going to do us any good whatsoever come on just grab that there it is oh the brakes come on come on come on oh here we go here we go Starting to fly out of control. Sorry, the camera's a little weird, and I was so busy worrying about my brakes while I'm upside down that I'm not paying attention to the camera. Doesn't that make sense? Hey, we still have all of our wheels, which that's a plus, right? Look at that. Look how freely that front wheel is spinning around. Man, it's like, I'm here, but you know. Oh, oh no. Ooh, that was a lot of air. That was a big hit. Okay, now here is pretty much where we've lost each of the other vehicles before. So far, we're not doing bad, uh, but I just, I, you know, I'm on, I'm on my back. I can't. Oh, the engine is broken. Ah, man, so close. <laughs> not, not really, but you know what I mean. It just, it felt like it. It felt like we were so close. Oh. Uh, will any vehicle ever be able to survive the dive? Now, I also want to make a disclaimer here. We are doing survive the dive, and I am not using the invincibility mod, right? We are going to make sure that the vehicles will take damage, because otherwise, what's the point? Although, having said that out loud, it might be fun to one time send a vehicle over the edge that can't theoretically be destroyed and see if it can survive the dive. But if we, as we can see here, well, the back of the uh, fire truck is pretty much just a wedge. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, I should send that to my buddy who makes the eight wedge. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh, and then we slide down to the bottom. Now, will we land upright? We have certainly lost most of our wheels. The front two, though, they are hanging on like gangbusters. Flipping, flopping, spinning. And we are potentially slowly, slowly coming to a stop. But the engine... What's interesting to me is that it said that the engine was broken, which it is. Except it's not showing me a red engine. That's really, really weird. I find that kind of strange. And finally, come to a rest. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this bad boy. Oh, this little beast here. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, wait, did that say something about extending? Control page up? 
Uh, it must be for certain vehicles. Not this one. Anyhow, look at this freaking bad boy. We got all kinds of transfer cases and differentials and all kinds of doodads and whatnots. And we're going to see if this thing can survive the dive. Over we go. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. This is already not going well. Wait, there we go. Oh, my gosh. This is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, huh. Ouch. The engine is already broken. That's got to be the quickest complete failure I have seen in this particular series. I know we're in the second one of the series, but I'm just saying. Of the various vehicles that we have done, that's got to be the fastest engine destruction that I have seen. Look at that. The fuel tank on fire, bouncing down the hill, but refusing to go beyond the truck. Just taunting the poor driver, burning him up alive. Wait. Oh, no, that's a wheel. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. See, once again, the engine is destroyed, but... It's not indicating that the engine is destroyed. That's very interesting. Ah, well, that is most unfortunate. You know, I think I want to try that again, though. I just think that something, something went just horribly wrong there. And, and I think we could potentially uh, not have that happen. <laughs> no, there's just no... No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just not fun. It's not, it's not a happy... I mean, it's fun, but it's not a happy time. Engine is broken again, and that's the end of the line for the tank, as it is referred to. That is quite a bummer. All right, here we go. How about a vehicle specifically designed for mining purposes? And you know what? This time, I'm not going to lock the diffs let's just see what happens if we move independently i'll be honest i don't i don't think it's going to really matter but you know what it, it, it might it could you just never know you never never know oh cruising down now listen you are specifically supposed to be designed for mining and what have you and and this is kind of like you know it's, it's kind of like a mine kind of like a quarry you should be okay Oh my gosh, look at that. We have bent the frame. Oh, that, that's a little ridiculous. Unfortunately, the engine is busted. Oh, that hurts so bad. Uh, you can see that black band stretching out. That is banding, and that is not a good sign. That means things are seriously not happy. In the world of physics, in BeamNG, Oh, ouch. Oh, man. That actually worked out kind of nicely. That was a nice jam to slow us down. That would have been great. If the, if the engine was still working, that perhaps might have uh, helped some. Look, <laughs> that giant truck is now this tiny little ball. Oh, well, I take that back. It's, it's, it's stretching itself out. <laughs> I have no idea what is happening right here, right now. However, look at all of the banding that we've got. Several of the wheels now really causing havoc with the BeamNG physics engine. There is a good chance that by the time we get to the bottom, uh, we may break physics completely. Uh, and that will entail one of two things. Either one, the game will freeze up and pause and say, uh, physics instability, or two, this black band, especially the thicker one that we see here, uh, could ultimately just stretch out of control and consume the entire screen. Now, it's been a while since I've seen a mod do that. Uh, I, I think the devs have kind of worked out a lot of you know, trying to take care of that kind of thing. But this is definitely ripe for that situation to happen. The more I say that, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I get, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not gonna happen. We'll find out here shortly. Normally, if it, if it was gonna happen, uh, I would think it would happen by now. But then again, you never can be sure. Uh, and I think, nope. I was going to say that I think the banding was attached to this wheel back here. 
or whatever that was, but obviously not because it's stretching way off into the distance there. Something way off over there. Look at that. We have things on fire out here. What is that? Is that the fuel tank? What are you? I have no idea. No, the, is that the radiator? That is the radiator smoking. Woohoo! Smoking. Oh, man, you can't. There we go. Like a little campfire down in the canyon. <laughs> I mean, sure. And look at this, which I, can I go under? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to attempt. Sometimes one of the cool things you can do is you can follow the banding to the point where it shows you what is attached to. Now, the big problem I have is this is, it thins out very quickly. Oh, look at that. Look at that though. That's gorgeous, huh? Oh, 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 we are now it's thinning out. And the, and the big problem with when it starts to really thin out is that you, uh, you essentially can only see it from certain angles. Um, let me see. I need to slow down my camera speed. Oops. See, I, oh, look, there it is. I was going to say I lost it completely. Yeah, it, it gets too thin out here. And so you can't really see where it's going. So I don't know what it's attached to, but in any case, well, okay. Didn't mean to go that fast. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you're a player of BeamNG, you can hold the alt key down on your keyboard and roll your mouse wheel. And that will set your camera speed at two uh, different points. And then while you're moving the camera with WASD, you can hold shift and that will put you into turbo mode. So anyhow, in case you didn't know that. Oops, I need to uh, unfree cam. There you go. Once again, survive the dive. No one survives the dive today. Ah, that is a bummer. Hey, got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. As always, thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so so much we are approaching 10,000 subscribers i know i'm getting ahead of myself i mean technically we haven't even hit 9,000 yet yet we are very close so i'm just gonna say we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much for that like share subscribe all that good stuff let's just send this bad boy off of the jump into the air and down into the canyon. Well, that was just as unsuccessful as anything else we've done here today. Huh. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.